Hi. Come on in and Merry Christmas. This is Ilan Lalum, a wonderful, wonderful chef who is preparing the Christmas dinner for us tonight. Let's see him a little bit in Very action. Very exciting. Hi, everyone. So today I want to show you how to cut a salmon, a side of salmon by scratch for 10 people. Okay. So the, the side on the inner half first. Okay. Make sure you get everything when you are cutting so if you have a bigger cutting board use it huh? mm -hmm. i don't have any right now but it will be okay so we're gonna start so we have 10 to 12 portion this is one portion one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we can be a little bit large I think this will be perfect. This is one portion. And we're gonna sear the salmon and add two shrimps and two beautiful scallop as well. So I'm keep, I keep going cutting, as you see, see, beautiful. I try to cut like in one time. I don't, I don't wanna break the salmon, so you need a knife uh, really sharp, right? It's a great color. Great color, right? It looks so wonderful. Thank you. And the last slide. I you all, are you always a trim on the side mm -hmm. so yes. take off the, the the little thing it's cleaner right and here we are you can even do extra portion mm. voilà. i'm sure there will be extra meat oh for sure <laughs> so this is a beautiful piece mm. of, of salmon organic. Oh, organic close to the ocean because we are in the west Hampton yeah. beach right i just want to say yes right so here the fish is amazing, you have a beautiful view. Yes. Um, the owners are wonderful too. Marianne is wonderful. <laughs> and we decided today to show you a couple of things. Uh, I can show you also, we have a wonderful, Marianne, we have a wonderful lobster over here. Mm. So ah. those one are lobster tail, ah, as you see, amazing. They look amazing. So wow. I'm gonna cook them, right? We have two different kinds, that one from Canada <sighs> and that one yeah. from the men. So mm. sweet, that one is more sweet. I see, so it's, it depends on the water? Absolutely, ah, absolutely, okay. it depends yeah, yeah. on the water. Which one do you prefer? Or I people pre prefer different? I, I prefer the one from the men, honestly, because Canadian is really sweet ah, when you right. start to cook it. Mm -hmm. So I like the, the one from the men better. Mm -hmm. uh, we say American, American. And here we have those wonderful shrimps. Mm -hmm. We have some scallops. Oh, wow. Now we are in the middle of the preparation and we're going to see what yes. Chef Ilan yes. has done so far and what he continues to do. Hi everyone. So now we're making the lobster pasta. We use a wonderful uh, lo uh, lobster tail from the men. Mm -hmm. uh, cook, they were fresh, so I cook them. Uh, I cool them down and that, now we're going to read off of the shell. All of the shell and I'm going to show you how to cut a chunk the size that you like for the lobster pasta. <laughs> Great, thank you. You're welcome. So now we have the lobster tail. The lobster tail was fresh. I cooked the lobster. So water, carrot, onion, celery, and 10 minutes. Then I cool them down. Now they are cold. I'm gonna break the shell and use only the meat actually. So that's how we break a shell from the tail. So we crack it here. 
slowly, huh? not too much. And then we're gonna come right there, right here. So this one is is a tough one, but that's how you get rid of the of the shell. As you see, beautiful uh, meat. And then when you arrive to the end, you don't have to, you just push. You put your thumb here and you push it slowly. The tail should come, you see? Ah, okay. This is a trick. So here Never we have the meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try to do another one for you guys. Um, so let's take a nice one, that mm -hmm. one. So I'm gonna crack it, right? And I'm gonna do the same thing. Do you have to do when I'm gonna right here, I just I'm just gonna push. Ah, okay. Just a little bit. Not too much. Right? Voila. Voila. Now let me show you the size for the lobster pasta actually because it's really important. People think uh, uh, the chunk are too big, but you have to think you're gonna cook the lobster a little bit more and it's gonna shrink. Right? So I take the lobster, make sure you don't have anything in the middle. Sometimes it could be not clean, so I clean it. Actually, this one is really clean. You see, oh, we yeah. don't have anything. Wow. Okay, we're gonna take the tail. <laughs> up, you know how to pick it. up, up, up. This is a chunk. It will be perfect uh, 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 size when I will cook, uh, serve my pasta. Another one, last one. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, everyone. Merci. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. What I was saying, uh, those, those, those ones are from the men. You can see they are smaller, tastier, and not that sweet. You know, you can feel the sea. You can feel the, the fish, the, 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 you know. So that's from Maine. Thing. That's from, from Maine. The state of Maine. And I that see. one. And this one? That one is from Canada. Canada. As you see. And the Before one from Maine is... You're saying less sweet. Less sweet. Yes. Those ones are sweeter. Yes. Slowly, and you get all of the tail, right? So, as you can see, men, Canada. For, on, on my part, my opinion, I like the men better, uh, definitely. But Canada could be good uh, uh, for lobster pasta. The men is more like to eat raw, or eat like a uh, uh, pansy uh, with mayonnaise. It's a delicate meat. So again, Beautiful. you can see. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the sauce for the lobster pasta. Some people, they use a, a chicken stock or fish stock, but because we have a good quality of lobster, I'm gonna use only water at the beginning, a little bit thyme and rosemary, and the chunk of, and the chunk of lobster. That's what gives you the taste, like pure taste. We don't wanna add something on top, we want a pure taste. So that's what I'm gonna do, watch. I'm gonna take some water, I'll be back. After this, we're gonna have a touch of butter because we are French. <laughs> no, because we need it for the lobster pasta anyway. We're gonna put a chunk of butter right there. We're not gonna put any salt, any black pepper right now because remember, when the, when the, when the, the water is gonna boil, you know, and if you add salt, the water is gonna be uh, uh, disappear and evaporate and the salt is gonna stay. So this is really important to know. I'm gonna cover uh, to get faster. My goal is to boil a little bit the liquid before putting my lobster. Okay. Now I'm gonna have my lobster. Beautiful lobster. Right. Don't mix, be very gentle and delicate with the lobster. Okay, that's it. I use my uh, little magic Japanese uh, stuff and just a little bit. That's it. Okay, now we're just going to put the cover on top, let it boil and just shut down. When it's going to be the time to plate the pasta, we're going to add some creme fraiche, boil it again, make sure we have the salt and pepper, the amounts of salt and pepper we like, and of course the linguine. Will be will be cooked in advance separately. Okay. 
Okay, so now I see you uh, later uh, when we're gonna play the pasta actually. Thank you so much. So the big moment has arrived. Ilan is now showing us the finished dish of the lobster linguine pasta. Hi everyone, voila! voila. <laughs> I want to show you how to finish and how to do your sauce. So this is the juice uh, from the lobster we've been cooking and little bit clams juice. I'm gonna add some heavy cream, a little bit, right? And then I'm gonna put the fire on a maximum, like high, high, uh, high fire. High heat or? High heater, yeah, it's better. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this. We're gonna put some really interesting red pepper uh, piment cayenne. It's really good with the lobster, not that much. And at the end, we're gonna have some lemon juice. Voilà. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. See the liquid is not too thick. Right. This is really important. You don't want to have like a, a thick pasta in your mouth. So right now they, they, they are ready. They are al dente. Look at that. Mm. Look at that. We're gonna put the, a little parmesan on top, and that's it. Voilà.